Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good day. So uh, I am uh, Dr. Mak Gusim Benamtil from uh, University of Indonesia. So today I would like to present uh, our uh, research paper uh, with paper ID 38 with entitled a Dynamic Analysis of Half Car uh, Suspension System uh, uh, Using a Magnetology Gramper in uh, International Conference of Advances in Manufacturing and Materials Engineering Kami 2024. So this is our presentation outline, starting from introduction, system modeling, PID controller design and optimization, results and discussion, as well as conclusion. So suspension system, okay, we know that that is one of the critical components that has been installed into vehicle system. So basically the main function of the suspension system to, of course, we want to provide a very good ride comfort and also good performance. So we have uh, three types of uh, system, okay, including passive system, semi-active system, and also a passive system. So what is a passive system? Passive system is basically a very conventional uh, system that include uh, the uh, fixed damper and also uh, the conventional springs. Okay, while for a semi-active system, uh, we replace it a uh, fixed damper to adjustable damper which means that the adjustable damper can be controlled externally. And uh, of course, yes, a semi-active also offers a very good performance as close as possible to the active system with a reliability of the passive system. And also just only require a very low power device, typically at most of 10 watt. But if you look at on active system, of course, we know that active system offers a very good performance, okay? And but there are some limitation in terms of uh, their system, okay, especially uh, in terms of the cost, very expensive, very bulky, and also unreliable, as well as the power required to 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 uh, to, to run the system is very high. So for this uh, research, we just focus on the semi-active system, so since we know that semi-active system can also offer a very good performance in terms of the right comfort and so good handling. But what is the problems of the sense uh, system is basically their control itself. So normally, uh, most of the researchers have focused on the uh, very types of controllers uh, recently. For example, we have a skyhook controller, fuzzy logic controller, a PID controller. But the main problem of the control itself is how we want to give a very good performance in terms of their parameter itself. So same thing and what happened in our uh, in our research is that we are focusing on the PAD controller, but the main problem of the PAD control is how we want to optimize that parameters of uh, proportional gain, integral gain, and also the derivative gain. So because we know that uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, when we design the controller with a not uh, fully optimized, that will affect the performance of the system. So how we want to uh, ensure that the, the, the controller can have a very good performance, can fully utilize or optimize, then we come up with the intelligent technique, so-called as the Firefly algorithm and also particle swarm optimization. These two uh, algorithms are basically uh, a very uh, familiar, okay, that people have been, been uh, used for any types of application in engineering field. Okay, so main objective, of course, we want to design the PAD controller tuned by FA and also PL, PSO algorithms for half car semi-active suspension system, as well as to evaluate and compare the performance of PID, PF, PID FA, PID PSO controller via simulation validation with passive system. All right, so this is our methodology. We divide into two uh, phases. First phase is a system development, including the uh, we development of the uh, passive assessment uh, system, semi-active assessment system, and also the development of the MR damper system using non-parameter approach. Okay, and also a control development based on the PID development integration with the PSO and also Firefly algorithm. So we start with a system modeling. This is uh, the overview structure of the uh, car suspension model for half car. Okay. By using equation of motion from from the Newton's second law of the suspension system, based on the four degree of freedom, we come out this kind of uh, uh, equation together with the parameters obtained from the previous research. Okay, we come up with 
uh, model, a mathematical model that has been um, developed using a MATLAB simulation software. So this is an uh, example of the model based on the equation of motion for, for the graphism. So as for PAD controller, when we, we, uh, the, the system of the model for suspensions is ready, we come up with the controller design, starting with a PID controller. And we know that PID controller is what we use in engineering field to control any problems, OK? So same thing what happened in, the, in our uh, system, OK? Uh, we, we use a PID controller in order to control uh, their performance in terms of the uh, body acceleration as well as body, uh, body uh, displacement and also pitch angle. So. Manual, manual tuning presents challenges as each parameter influences the controllers respond differently, potentially resulting in suboptimal performance. So if you use a very conventional technique in order to tune uh, the value of parameters of PAD controller, of course, uh, it leads the performance very uh, getting worse. Okay. So in how to, 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 to improve uh, the performance or how to uh, come up with a good uh, optimizers, we use uh, the optimization technique based on the meta here algorithm using a uh, five flag algorithm and also, and also particles from optimization so uh, so five flag algorithm is basically one of the meta here algorithm introduced by young back in 2007 inspired by behavior of flashing of five flags in nature and they have, must have a rules that must be followed so basically the five flag algorithm the main objective is uh, they want to find and search a best mate based on the light intensity. Okay, so that is a uh, that, that is a objective function. Compared to the uh, particle swarm optimization, okay, the main objective function, uh, the, sorry, the, the particle swarm optimization is inspired by uh, behavior of bird flocking and fish movement. So in other words, the main objective of the particle swarm optimization is uh, they want to find uh, their best uh, place or or maybe you want to find the 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 uh, uh, the food okay together a group of the particles of swamp okay they want to find what is the best place so that is a, a the a, the main objective function of the particle swamp optimization so how we we want to integrate this to algorithm into our block diagram so this is an example of the block diagram that has been uh, developed using MATLAB simulation software and if you look at on this uh, the, the, the full configuration of block diagram, body acceleration is basically our objective. So you want our target is you want to uh, reduce our amplitude of the body acceleration. So that that kind of data of the acceleration will be our objective of the particle swarm optimization and also five flag algorithm. So that one will be our objective function that will be uh, our target. So the PSU and FI will find uh, their best objective function in order to get a very minimal error of the PID controller so that from that the particles can be presented as a uh, KPKKD in our system will give a very good or uh, can give uh, fully ut utilize their the values so that the controller can give uh, uh, required a, des a desired force that can be signed to the current driver. So as for results, okay, based on the sinus summary width with five frequency and 0 0.005 meter amplitude, okay, we obtain our result based on three types of result. First is passive system, uh, semi-active with PID PSO and also semi-active with PID FA. So and if you look at from the figure of body acceleration performance, we obtain that the PID controller tuned by FA okay, uh, is better as compared to the PID tuned by PSO as well as the passive system. Okay, and but if you look at on the body displacement re response, okay, the results can it can be mentioned that the result of PID tuned by PSO, which is the, the, the great yeah, sorry, the red line, okay, give uh, a very low amplitude of body displacement as compared to the PID tuned by FA and also a passive system. And last result of body pitch performance, same thing, the PID PSO also obtained a very good result as compared to the PID FA and also passive system. 
and if you get the overall performance over researchers of the parameters okay we can uh, conclude that the uh, the parameters of body acceleration okay we can see that the PADFA uh, give a very good uh, a reduction percentage with up to 24.154 uh, acceleration response but for both uh, a displacement response it can be mentioned that PAD PSO give a very good performance with up to 45.84 uh, percentage of reduction reduction as well as for body angle PAD PSO give a very good performance with up to 53.19 percent so as for conclusion, the performance of PID controller tuned by FA and PSO gradients has been designed for half car suspension rate comfort. And the performance of PID with FA optimizer has been proven to improve the body acceleration, while the PID PSO optimizer has been proven to improve the body displacement as well as the pitch angle. All right, so I think that's all for me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.